Hello everyone, myself Misha Shatavdidhar and today in this video I am going to discuss about multiprocessor scheduling algorithm. Now what is multiprocessor scheduling? In the multiprocessor scheduling, there are multiple CPUs which share the load so that various process run simultaneously. In general, the multiprocessor scheduling is complex as compared to single processor scheduling. In the multiprocessor scheduling, there are many processors and they are identical and we can run any process at any time. The multiple CPUs in the system are in the close communication which shares a common bus, memory and other peripheral devices. So, we can say that the system is a tightly coupled system. These systems are used when we want to process a bulk amount of data. These systems are mainly used in satellite, weather forecasting, etc. Multiprocessing system work on the concept of symmetric multiprocessing model. In this system, each processor work on the identical copy of the operating system and these copies communicate with each other. With the help of this system, we can save money because of other devices like peripherals, power supplies and other devices are shared. The most important thing is that we can do more work in a short period of time. If one system fails in the multiprocessor system, the whole system will not halt, only the speed of the processor will be slowed down. The whole performance of the multiprocessing system is managed by the operating system. Operating system assigns defined task to the defined processor in the system. In the multiprocessing system, the process is broken into the thread, which they can be run independently. This type of system allow the thread to run one more than one processor simultaneously. In this system, the pro various process in the pa parallel, so this is called parallel processor. Parallel processing is the ability of the CPU to run various process simultaneously. In the multiprocessing system, there is dynamically sharing of resource among the various processors. Multiprocessor operating system is a kind of regular operating system which handles many system calls at the same time. Do memory management, provide file management also, the input output devices also. There are some extra features which multiprocessor perform like process synchronization, resource management and scheduling. There are various organizations of multiprocessor operating system like each CPU has its own operating system. In these types of organization, then there are much central processing units in the system and each CPU has its own private operating system and memory is shared among all the processors and input output system are also we shared here. All the system is connected by the single bus. Another one is master slave multiprocessor. In this type of multiprocessor model, there is a single data structure which keeps track of the ready process. In this model, one central processing unit works as master and other central processing unit works as a slave. In this type of processor, all the processors 
are handled by the single processor which is called master server. The master server runs the operating system process and the slave server run the user processes. The memory and input output devices are shared among all the processors and all the processors are connected to a common bus. This system is simple and reduces the data sharing and for this, this system is called asymmetric multiprocessing. And the other one is symmetric multiprocessor. Symmetric multiprocessors is a third model in which model there is one copy of the operating system in memory but any central processing unit can run it. Now when a system call is made then the central processing unit on which the system call was made traps to the kernel and then processes that system call. This model balances processes and memory dynamical. This approach uses symmetric multiprocessing where each processor is self-scheduling. The scheduling proceeds further by having the scheduler for each processor examine the ready queue and select a process to execute. In this system, this is possible that all the process may be in common ready queue or each processor may have its own private queue for the ready process. Hope through this video you can understand about the multiprocessor scheduling. So to get more updates, don't forget to subscribe my channel.